There's a road runner right there. Yay, we Did saw one. It? Yeah. He was on the road too. Yep. Somebody walking in the road? The crap. Riding a skier. You don't see that every day. There's a skateboard. Some highway in the middle of nowhere, dude, we're on a skateboard. <laughs> Literally in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> wow. I don't know. That is legit. He's 60 miles from anything. He's on a skateboard. All right, we're heading west of Tombstone. We've come across this place called Fairbanks Historic. And there's a schoolhouse down here that's, uh, I don't know, I don't know anything about it. We're going to go walk to it and check it out. Looks like there's an old town here that, big parking lot, looks like it might be pretty popular, but nobody here yet. Not today, just us. Taking the road less traveled to see what we can see through this southern Arizona area. There's this little sidewalk trail next to the road we just went up, but then you get up there and there's no parking other than ex handicap parking. So we had to turn around where we want to walk up it and then go browse around. Looks like there's four or five buildings here to check out. All right, so here's the historic town area there, and there's the accessible parking. We got restrooms here. Um, I don't know if you can go into school or not. It says school's closed. So maybe we'll just look at the buildings that are here. All right, some historical buildings of Fairbank are closed to public entry to protect visitors and resources. Okay, here's a little sign that talks about it. Welcome to Fairbank Historic Town site. Take a picture of that and read that. All right, there's an information box there. It's got these little pamphlets in there. So we're, we got our pamphlet. And we're going to take a look and see what it's about. Well, we found the historic crapper house. It's a two-holer. You can go in tandem if you need to. <laughs> right on. So that looked like some kind of a stable building or something because there was a other area over here had like a stall area. And then this is the inside. It's got a wood floor though. That's weird. You don't see that in a barn. another building we'll see on the map what it is all right so we're just looking at the map here we're clear up here and it looks like on the back of this pamphlet there's a bunch of major attractions a bunch of trails and petroglyphs and all kinds of stuff down this way heading heading south but we're heading west so we're gonna have to bypass all that but anyway we'll see what we can see up here at this town site So I don't know what any of these buildings are. There's no map of the site that I can see. There is a visitor center gift shop over here that's closed currently. That probably has more information, but this looks more like a house of some sort. Oh yeah, I see a water heater in there. So yeah, this would be a, a house back in the day, I guess. And there's a water heater in there. It's even got power with wires and outlets and stuff. It's 
seems pretty recent. Yeah, I saw a water heater in there. Temporary to close, no entry, caution, snakes everywhere. I don't know, not today though, it's a freeze warning. Freeze warning in Tucson, so I don't think the snakes are out today. Well, there's a sign that talks about some of the uh, little hikes that you can hike to some ruins and stuff right here. So there's some informational boards. There's one here and one over there and one over there and a couple over here. We'll go take a peek at them real quick. Fairbank, a ghost of a town. There's some more information about it. That's cool. An old post office building, Fairbanks, Arizona. Drop your mail here, please. Okay. <laughs> yeah, nothing in them. <clears throat> Look at the sign real quick. Back in the boom days. There's another informational sign. It's the Fairbank Schoolhouse. That's a stone building. That's looks like that's legit right there. Looks like it is open on the weekends. Yeah. Wonder if there's any windows we can look in. Might, if it's a gift shop, it's probably like all modernized inside. Cool looking door. Yeah, an AC unit, so I'm sure it's a modernized for sure. Neat looking building. Well, we chose not to hike to the to the mill and to the cemetery, but that pamphlet says this is a world-class bird watching area. And we just saw a really cool bird. I couldn't get it on the camera quick enough. It had a really neat bird song or whatever. Yeah. Different sound I'm not used to, but lots of doves here too. Anyway, super nice parking yeah. area. Nice facilities, picnic tables, restroom. Really nice. So, anyway, we're gonna mosey on down, see what else we can see. All right, it just sang at us again. Let's see if I can get it. You think it flew? There it is. It's coming in. Where are you going? Dang it. All right, I was able to catch it as it flew sideways like that. So I might be able to get a good shot on a still frame of the video. Of the wings and stuff to see maybe what kind of bird it is. Pretty cool. All right, well, the pamphlet said there's oh, 350 different species of birds in here. So must be pretty premier. Anyway, we drove back down in here to see if we could see another that bird again but anyway bring your telephoto lens and come check it out your zoom lens go for a nice walk through the trails here all right we decided to put our bird watching hats on for a minute we're not big bird watchers but 
anyway, it's kind of cool to see birds we haven't seen before. Christy is able to get one on video of a brown. No, it was all red, huh? Yeah. Bright red. And uh, so that's pretty neat. Maybe we can get some other pictures of a couple others if we go up this trail a little bit. And wouldn't you know, looks like that's a woodpecker. That's what we saw earlier, the red-headed woodpecker. There he is. Bright red head. Yeah, that's the one I saw earlier that was singing that awesome song. Oh, there it goes. Cool. Well, I don't know if that was a woodpecker or not, but it had a bright red head and then kind of a brown and brownish gray white pattern on its wings. I'll have to look it up in a book and see. But pretty neat. We just walked up the trail a little ways. The truck's parked right there. But, all right. I guess with the right uh, camera equipment, you could probably get some pretty nice shots of some birds in here. Not so much with a cell phone. So it looks like this is uh, San Pedro Riparian National Conservation Area, but it looks like they got some munitions in the area and you need to be wise about what they look like and the dangers of them. Wow, this could be an explosive trail for you. Globally important bird area. There's lots of them in there. I just saw some fly by as we were looking at this. Yeah, look at all those birds in that tree. There's a lot of them in here, even on this tree over here. world-class birding area but I don't see any birding people here this place is deserted it's just got us we'll take it